Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Car Audio Etc. Uh, today, basically, I just want to give you a quick tour of uh, all my tools and bits and pieces that we use here at Auto Sound and Security. I did, was going to do a full shop check, but that was just going to go on and on and on forever, so I've decided to separate it out into parts. I'll show you my whole corner first and things that I do, and then we'll you know take a tour of the rest of the shop on an, at another time. So basically, just everything along this side wall up to that corner is my side then we got the shared stuff in the middle and Grant's little corner and then the wood workshop through next door but that's for another time so we'll just have a look at my side I'm just gonna go you know left or right here give you a brief idea got my little my, my drinks so I got my Powerade and some you know cordial stuff here and then obviously nice and safe right next to the meth lad spirits and silicone so that's always good some old lollies and shit my laptop, my old Acer laptop back from the year probably like 2000 or earlier, still going. Well, apart from the fact that it doesn't run off a battery anymore, I mean it's good enough for doing Google searches at work and watching YouTube videos and that. Uh, we'll go along here, we've got ourselves, like I made this little monitor speaker for my computer, it's just a Focal K2 series woofer which we had, you know, spare from a job. It's just got a uh, Sony 222 amplifier powering it, works good enough. Up here we just got like, you know, my box with some cables and headphones and shit. That's a Samsung tablet which I occasionally use. <laughs> Going along. Okay, so this is my main toolbox. This is the one that I sort of carry everywhere I go. Um, got, you know, spanners along the side here ranging from sort of 6 up to 12, sorry, 8 up to 14 mils. Some of them are ratchets. Always got to have like a file on hand we've got my, my stabby stabby all test lamp screwdriver screwdriver we've got a vivid here this is my right angle uh, bit adapter so turn this and that turns you know stubbies more screwdrivers alongside here this whole side here is all just screwdrivers Phillips you know oh, socket drivers I got some star drivers in here which I use on Audis and European cars, V-dubs and stuff like that because they're all star head things. Those keys which are used in a lot of cars, mainly Fords and Blaupunks and things like that. On this side I got like, you know, all my other sort of random shit, so I got my crimpers, wire splices, pry bars, tape, Random ratchet down there, just random bits and pieces. This side, oh, this is a little quarter inch breaker bar that's really handy. In fact, that actually goes with this quarter inch driver here, and it has a little socket on the top there, so that's really good. Oh, and then the other tools that you probably don't ever get to see, I always keep a certain few things on me. Always got to have my, my Phillips spit for the drill, flathead screwdriver. Pen. Side cutters are always in the pocket. What have we got? And then, ah, my stepper bit, drill bit. Use that for lots of stuff as well. And that's pretty much all the tools that keep on me. All right, now we'll just, you know, continue going left to right. Top drawer. Pens. Coffee money. Random stickers and stuff. Screws of various sizes. Uh, screws for screws that go into head units, you know, like M5s and grub screws. This is all nuts, washers, and bolts, and that size of there. Ooh, watch out for the soldering iron. A whole bunch of random self tapping screws. My little stash of these Alpine ones, which I use in pretty much every install I do for speakers. Uh, this one here on the left here, it's pretty messy, but it, I mean. So we've got my lead lamp and my soldering iron. Ah, continuing lift, battery drill, charge, charger and battery, my little quarter inch socket set, which is missing the ratchet. I lost it one day. That's why I had that second one. A little 12 volt power supply here, which I can use for powering things up on the bench. Some pins and stuff. More, po those are mostly posi bits. I don't even know why I've got those. Oh, these are all magnets off ran off speakers that I've taken out of cars that have been dead so most of those magnets are pretty much 
fucked, but they're still magnetized. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is my big blue toolbox I got given as a gift from one of my dad's mates. It's really, really nice. Usually up here, you've probably seen it before, but we've got usually the great big Ampro red uh, half inch socket set, probably the highest quality tool that I have, um, but at the moment it's out being used. So at the moment we've just got the multimeter, my coffee glass, some more sockets. Uh, this is where I always keep my little drill, drill bit selection, but then if I need you know, more drill bits, not that one, this one. So this is all drill bits. All drill bits, heaps of them, wire brushes, pre-made hole cutters. Um, this side, got little mini screwdrivers. That's a threading tool for split conduit. Uh, this here, if I can open it with one hand. Oh. So when you got a, um, a, screw, a screw which has got a threaded head, or sorry, a, 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 like a screwed head, you can, you know, drill, drill out the hole, you know, with that side and then you wind that side into it with your drill and it pulls it out for you. And then this side, all manner of Allen keys of different sizes and lengths. Continuing down, so the first drawer, all my spare screwdrivers, Phillips, flathead, uh, fl lots of flathead, a few sharpened ones for ones that have been wrecked, another spare awl, scratchy scratchy, this one, all my spare ratchet spanners and non-ratchet spanners, mostly arranged by size and then we got wrenches. This one, all the other randoms. Okay, so we've got things like my little, what do you call this? I mean like a hacksaw blade, you know? I think I've got two pairs of scissors in here. Got my, my slip jaws. Snub pliers, pointy pliers, mini pointy pliers. Okay, these are my, my big cable loppers really cheap random crimpers same thing again actually these ones are quite good I, I do use these ones uh, at the front end there they are really good for making for crimping on the CS plug attachments I'll show you those in a minute uh, what else I think I've got another set of crimpers in here somewhere where is it well, maybe I put them back oh look a third set of scissors probably don't need three sets Old set of side cutters, they're almost been with you. Spare knife, an Imperial uh, Allen key set. That's the reason it's in the drawer and not in my box, is because it's Imperial and not much use to me. Star Drive Torquex uh, Allen keys, Riveter, Rivet gun, sorry. That is, I don't even know, it's like a wonky screwdriver where I sharpen the end. Oh, these are um, wire cutters, but not like uh, not like cable cutters. I use these to cut my number eight, uh, you know, solid wire. These things, this thick mouse wire stuff, which I use. So that's what they're for. Got a couple of these, you know, multi-bit screwdrivers, which are you know ratchet based. A couple of those things. Spare pry bars. Oh, there's the other set of crimpers. These ones are interesting, they're kind of, yeah, same thing, no, I don't even know what this is, it's like a hooky screwdriver, oh little files, I mean that's pretty much everything in that drawer. Okay, uh, continuing down the line, I should have said above the sockets here, I usually have, you know, all my Torquex quarter inch, sorry half inch um, socket Torquex drives, and then I guess, I don't know, some people call these hex heads, some people call them allen keys, that's what they are, just great big versions of them. Some plastic bags which I, you know, use to, I put, you know, stereo manuals in here to, for care packages when I install stereos. My test speaker, made by Macintosh, <laughs> random, just wires in the end there. Fan, when it's hot. Okay, this, this bench here is like my little sort of mini fabrication table, I use it for you know doing little draw holes got my vise here which I you know put my looms in for soldering up 
the clipboard for my job sheets. This is all full of random bits of foam and adhesive material, you know, double-sided tape and stuff so I can stick things inside cars. This one's got all ground looms in it. Speaker cable looms. Headphones and safety, sorry, not headphones, earmuffs and safety glasses. Um, little fuses, blade fuses, glass bulb fuses, blade fuses, large car fuses. This is all CS plugs, this is the stuff I was talking about. These multi pin plugs. And then at the bottom here, we've got our heavy cable lugs. Not many in stock at the moment, but we'll get some more. So that's that table. Coming along the end here, this is like my little junk box. It's usually full of all sorts of random stuff that you think you might need in the future. Get the light on it. This box here is just like random Molex plugs and stuff. Oh, this is. This box is all full of stereo jacks. I use them for um, A, auxiliary connections, and B, for steering wheel controls. And then in here is just all random stuff. So we've got a distribution block there. We've got a random fitting kit, which has, you know, lost its identity. A couple of Toyota side trims. Microfiber cloths, brackets, universal brackets. Battery clamps camera cables, just all manner of everything. Just one of the many junk boxes in my never ending collection. This whole box here is just full of empty boxes, so that's a box of boxes. We got a box of towels and rags and my little test bench which I use just for powering things up and you know checking they work and things like that. We'll go back right to left now for under the benches. So at the back there, that one's all filled with Focal grills, Alpine Type R grills, Rockford Fosgate grills. Don't ask me why I'm keeping them, I don't even know. This one here is random shit apparently. So we got That is a voltmeter. That's a clock. Some nice 12 gauge. junk box. Okay, my spare heavy duty speaker cable off cuts box. So that's like 12 gauge and 14 gauge and things like that. Just got a 12 inch sub under there for the um, sound system. This whole box here, this is my spare power cables box. So I got all like spare 4 gauge and above at that end. At this end, 8 gauge, and then in here, this is like sort of you know spare wiring loop, uh, amp hookup uh, packs that didn't get used in installs. Back in here, and then this side trailer cable off cuts, speaker cable off cuts, and then like Molex plug off cuts. Oh, come on. under this bench. At the left end we've got spare long RCAs for testing amps you know making and making sure things are all good. Uh, quite often we get someone come in and say there's no sound coming out of their amp. First thing we check is not the RCAs they've got in there so we run a set you know just straight from the head unit outside the car around to the amp and make sure that those are okay. Bits of spare coax wire, short RCA cables, that one there is just all full of RCA heads that I can solder onto connections for factory uh, reversing cameras because most factory reversing cameras are made in Japan and they have a random you know, multi-pin plug, not an RCA head like we use here in New Zealand. Got some posters and girlies up and whatnot. Pioneer, Rockford, Alpine. More up the top there, Fusion, Rockford, Soundstream, Tsunami. That's pretty much everything there is to my whole corner. 
I'll do a video relatively soon of the whole shop, you know, showing off the rest of it. Just, I just know if I had, you know, done all of that as well as rattling off about the whole rest of the shop and, you know, the workshop and things like that, then it would have gone on forever. Keep an eye on the channel, guys, because I'm going to do a, you know, whole workshop tour where you can, you know, see, like, where we make up all the boxes and also all this other shit that i got here behind me, all the cabling and stuff, all that, and, and our showroom as well. So, yeah, give this video a like if you um, enjoyed it, guys, and have a good day.